Hi everybody, it's Kathy from Huckleberry Herbs and Art and I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be the Heartfelt Creations close-up for the September release. I just have a couple things really quickly to show you if you have not already heard. I'm going to be carrying some of the lovely Gina Kay's products and this is the stencil and the cards that make the beautiful wreaths. This is a lovely stamp set for the fall. And here are some of the inks I have chosen to start putting in the store. And I'll leave the craft haul in case you haven't seen it. Because there you can see a close-up. I also have red velvet. I don't think I brought that out. And just uh, you can go check the craft haul out and see me actually making the wreath. Especially if you haven't seen the little stencils there that make wreaths. You have got to check that out. So I'll leave the link below. Um, I also have the poinsettia and holly clusters stamp and die and the shaping mold that goes with it. I only have a couple of these. I'm a small store, so, you know, first come, first serve, I guess. Uh, Huckleberryherbs.com if you want anything. Now let me get to what you came here for, which is the Oakberry Lane Collection. I just watched Emma Lou's video, and it's a beautiful collection in regards to the fact that there is a ton of colors and a ton of things that you can do with this. So there are lots of cute little images in this, but every page is filled with more colors and I'm just starting to burst with ideas and oh my goodness, wait till you see the new flowers and the dyes and stamps. So there's a lovely page with a salmon color and isn't that cute how they put the little guy into the flower. And these, of course, for those of you that aren't familiar with Heartfelt, these are great for just cutting out, making your card on the fly, or to use as a wonderful base to put your beautiful flowers on. And you have things like this where there's tags and and um, pla places to put your sentiments and everything, even if you just bought the paper. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the way that it is almost sponged on and almost an antique look with this gorgeous lace, the ghosting lace in the background, the flowers on all of the corners. These ones are great for real quick thank you cards, perfect size, cute little guy in the tire. I'll show you him in a moment. So perfectly sweet, journey of life, my wish for you, great sentiments for all kinds of occasions. Here's the letters if you wanna cut these out and actually make your sentiments yourself. Here's a tag page with an example of just look at how vibrant that is with all the different colors, the greens, the reds, the blues, pinks, purples, the salmons, the oranges. They've got it covered here. So this is a nice eclectic grouping of colors. And if you like to put really large words, they have these lovely sentiments right here so that you can cut those out and put larger words or just take a section and make a small little card with that. Another beautiful tag page and the we are pretty used to seeing this shaped tag from Heartfelt. I think this page is really interesting. Um, it has different textures if you will on each of the rows so it would look beautiful as the background for a layout and it's got such lovely colors you, you couldn't go wrong no matter which way you decided to decorate it. Or what if you cut it this way and you have strips that have all those different colors in it? Oh, you could cut it this way and just use a section because you're in need of a particular color. This is, and I love the colors. It's really cool. I love the grains. Look at this one here where it really does look like old wood that had flowers stenciled on it and the paint's fading. Nice and stressed for those of us that like uh, stressed looks. I love the blue in the back of this page because it's like a, a a very light turquoise aqua uh, baby blue combination. And then look, it's just bursting with activity and colors. That's a great layout page. Or just cut a section out, make your card. On the other side, some nice polka dots and a gentle green. These acorns make it very versatile as far as if you didn't get any other fall stuff, you could still put together some wonderful uh, Thanksgiving cards and fall thank you cards. Here's another cute scene. And again, these are all going to be images. I like how they, they the way they put these flowers all along the bottom and just, oh, I could imagine walking through that garden. A nice gentle 
sort of sophisticated stripe with these beautiful swirls and then the stripes that have um, a center with more stripes in them and, the, and the, the nice colored purple going with the green um, stripes on, on the forward part of the paper. Now these are some of the images that you can just pop into the dies. Look, you've got three flowers all ready to go. You've got a bunch of these cute little creatures. In minutes you could have pop-ups on your cards and look like it worked all day. This is a great color for September, October, November. Use it as a background or begin your layout with it. Some larger tags. These are six by sixes of some of those scenes that we looked at before. This is a deeper salmon, almost headed towards maroon color. And again, if you look closely, it looks as though it's sponged on. It's got the detail of design. And if you really look closely, I don't know if my camera will pick it up. You can actually see just how detailed that design inside is. I don't know if the camera got that for you. Here are six by sixes of the larger ones. A very nice, it's not... It is a Kelly green, but it's got a bit of lime to it. And then we have these diagonal um, or crossovers making the squares with that beautiful detail inside with the little hearts that all face each other. Another of the six by sixes, if you want to make a card with just the words in the background. This is a very pretty purple headed towards the bluish end. Again, very layered and look as though it's sponged on and almost has like a clouds experience when you look at it and then close up it has this detail of this almost chain like effect running up in stripes can't see that unless you take a good look here's a great tag page with all kinds of little things that you can pop out if you don't have a bunch of dies this is great just cut these out and put your sentiment on put some uh, foam, sticky back foam, and you've got a beautiful card. But these circles are new for us to see on this tag. Look at this. This is a different shape for those of us that are used to seeing this. And a violet layered color. I love these two colors. Aren't those gorgeous? Oh, beautiful. All right, so those are the papers. And now let me start with the flowers oakberry lane blossoms oh we flower makers are going to have a blast with this and it comes with one two three four separated so different sized sets of flowers for your stamps and then of course these die cut them out all at the same time so you can do bunches of them and these flowers are going to be gorgeous and it also comes sold separately but with its own mold fit just for just to these flowers shapes and I just watched Emma Lou pop these out of her uh, vagabond machine on her video and the flowers are gorgeous and I have definitely got to spend some time <clears throat> making some flowers so this is some distress vintage um, vintage ink and I've already got my flowers so you'll have to watch for my cards that'll be coming out with those. And then we have the furry tailed frolic, which has some cute sentiments, a gift for you. Thought I'd swing by to say hello. Perfect for that guy with these cute little creatures and the dies that fit this as well. And it comes with this very useful circle die. I just popped one out and then colored in one of the acorns. So you get the inside die and then you get this lovely designed circle out for the outside <clears throat> which you can layer up. And uh, if you want, if you have a sentiment that fits, you can pop that in there or you can do something like I did and just pop your acorn on there. The acorn doesn't come with this one, but it does come, well I'll show you that one in a moment. So let me show you the Oak Berry Lane Antics because this flower is gorgeous. I mean, these guys are cute on, and you could put them on so that, you know, they swing back and forth or seesaw back and forth. And there's the dies to cut these out. I couldn't help myself. I got right to stamping and uh, that's where I cut the little acorn out. Um, these are really beautiful flowers. So, and here's some of the cute images that were in a previous one. So I've even stamped them up on watercolor. I've already embossed them. Again, you're going to have to watch for my videos coming up 
on creating cards with those. And then the Oakberry Cottage and Sentiments, which at first glance you might think, uh, you know, but it has four sentiments. Life is better with you in it. I'm just nuts about you, thinking of you, wishing you a speedy recovery. Very useful sentiments. It has that sweet little acorn in it. And I had to make, I mean, when you look at my stamping here, I've got the acorns strewn throughout because those are going to be really useful and fun to play with. Pop them all over the place and make a, an acorn bouquet. <laughs> Um, and then the dies are not just the cutting out of the acorn house or kitchen window, but you actually get, well, let me show you. I threw together a quick card, so don't be too judgmental. I did it fast so that I could show you this. First of all, there are two different dies to cut this out. So you can go closer, but I used the one that was um, a little bit larger and left the white more around the edge. And I just colored this in quickly with my um, Inktense pencils and I cut it so that I would actually have the shape of the acorn in the card. This would make a great card for a little kid or can you imagine maybe that you're gonna you know send your Thanksgiving um, invitations on something cute like this or even you know the table setting little acorns with people's names on them right. So what's interesting is that the dies actually include this. Now again, this is not perfect. I just threw it together so you could have it. I would probably stamp this out, color it, and then put this window in. And I also popped this up separately because they give you another die so that you can actually cut that out and pop up your image. So there's your little squirrel, and there's the window, and then two dies for this plus your acorn, which will be useful all over the place. So I thought that would make a cute little card shape just like that. And I will be back to do as many uh, card shares and things like that with these as I possibly can. Huckleberryherbs.com, please come on over and visit. Join my contact list if you would like to see the newsletter. I don't send them out that often. And um, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, tell me what you think of this, tell me how you're doing. I love to hear from you. Thank you so much to all of you that come back every single time and check this out. And I have to get busy. So many things to do. Till next time, everybody, this is Kathy from Huckleberry Herbs and Art. God bless.